So as I was trying to figure out how to be happily married, I came up with uh, a marriage logic map. And I, I, I don't normally take the time to explain this, uh, but, but uh, I, I'm going to because, uh, well, it's kind of nerdy. Um, but when you design computers, that's what I used to do, they use uh, logic, which is called the computer logic, and there's AND gates and OR gates, and basically there's two inputs to a gate. There's uh, A and B, and if an AND gate says if both inputs are true, A is true and B is true, then the output is true. And if either one is false, uh, the output is false. A has to be true and B has to be true. An OR gate says if either one is true, the output's true, and only when both inputs are false uh, is the output false. Not anything funny in there. But I've come up with the marriage logic map. This is the key to happiness. <laughs> These ladies down there went, oh, well, we don't like where this is going. <laughs> this, uh, I'm going to preface this by saying, well, I'll, I'll get to it. But I started the most obvious thing. There's two inputs, Don and Laura's, my wife, Laura. Okay, if I'm wrong and Laura's right, this is a really easy one. Laura's right. That's simple. Thank you very much. <laughs> that one seemed obvious to me. Believe it or not, from here, it gets complicated. Okay, if we're both right, it doesn't matter. Laura's, Laura's right. Thank you very much. That's the key. I would rather be happy than be right. That's what I'm thinking. If I'm right and Laura's wrong, it doesn't matter. Laura's still right. And if we're both wrong, uh, Donna's wrong. If you're a single guy, take out your phone and take a photo of this. You're going to need to know it someday. I'd rather be happy than be right. That's what I want. 